Hello, uh, poop eaters. That's what I'm calling y'all now. Hello, poop eaters, and uh, welcome back to my uh, weekly video. Weekly. And, uh, yeah, audio might still be shit in this video. Um, I, I have a mic now, but uh, I'm not going to use it until uh, all my PC parts that I impulsively bought the day after Christmas comes in. You get it, you know. You get it. Uh, so basically, I'm just going to speed run through uh, 2020 while, uh, you know, just trying to hit all the, the big points and uh, whatnot, I guess. Um, yeah. <sighs> um, so the year kind of started off with a bang. Um, New Year's happened. Um, my cousin's birthday is in January. So is my grandma's. They're still alive. Uh, next, uh, Kobe Bryant, not alive. That's insensitive. Uh, Kobe and Gigi passed away. Um, I was on my way to Ikea when I found out the news. Uh, fun fact about the passing. Uh, I guess kind of a sad fact about the passing, whichever way you really want to look at it. I put in my two weeks notice at work not too long after that happened because, like, I realized, like, how sh short life was, you know? Actual fact. Um, shit, what else happened? Uh, Valentine's Day, I guess that was a fucking thing or whatever. Uh, yeah, then there was just kind of like a blur for like the past like nine months. <sighs> nothing, nothing really worthwhile. Kobe died, world shut down. Facts. Completely forgot Animal Crossing came out. Animal Crossing New Horizons on the Switch. Easily game of the year. I don't really think that there's any other competitor for game of the year. Like maybe like Cyberpunk or something. Because that game's just doing amazing. Oh my gosh, that's going to be a joke. That's not going to be relevant in like two months. But uh, yeah. Um, Animal Crossing came out. That was like a big thing for like five months. Nobody could go outside. So everyone just decided to... Uh, go outside on, on Animal Crossing. Oh my gosh. Um, my girlfriend became like a bit of like a, a, a flower dealer on Animal Crossing for a while. Like I swear, like every day I would look over on her phone and she'd be on like Discord being like, I got tulips for sale uh, this much, who wants some? Like it was the weirdest shit. It's just kind of like a blip now. I don't know. Do people still play Animal Crossing? Yeah, they do. Yeah, that's still a fun game, I guess. Uh, what else? What else happened this year? Um, hey, we got a stimulus check. We got a, or uh, us in America got a stimulus check. Uh, other countries also get like a lot of money from the U.S. But uh, yeah, uh, we we got twelve hundred dollars to last us a year. Oh my gosh. So uh, I, I'm, I'm, I'm recording all of this and I'm saying all of this before um, a potential second stimulus check goes out, either anywhere from $600 to $2,000, more likely to $600 because uh, Melted Wax Candle Turtle Man um, is a little bit of a bitch. Uh, uh, also, kind of back to the whole Animal Crossing, you know, five months being a blip thing. Oh, that's kind of been, like, the theme for this year, I guess. Like, I'm trying to, like, remember, like, key events and whatnot from this past year, and it's just a blip. Like, I remember, uh, I remember March, March 22nd, I think it was, March 21st, March 22nd, you know, March 20th, there about, uh, whenever Rudy Gobert, uh, you know, got COVID, and then, like, like the Jazz and Thunder were about to, you know, tip off and then that game got shut down and the rest of the games got shut down and then the NBA like shut down. Shout out to Adam Silver for like, you know, actually doing a good thing and making the rest of the country kind of take notice that, you know, this is not just a fucking cold, that this is not just something that's just going to go away overnight and it's not just something that we should just kind of play through. It's, you know, kind of serious. 
you know, Adam Silver, believe it or not, like the NBA, a fucking sport where people play, made us take notice, or, you know, made a, a lot of people take notice on, on, like, what this was. What a fucking year. What a fucking year. Um, what else? Yeah, uh, my birthday happened. Um, April Fools happened. My birthday was after April Fools, but you know, I'm just trying to hit all the, the boundaries. It's kind of hard. Hey, what else happened this year? That's later, though. I'm in April right now. What happened in May? Cinco de Mayo happened. I'm not Mexican, I don't celebrate Cinco de Mayo, but uh, you know, I do celebrate Mexican independence and I do have a lot of uh, Mexican friends and Hispanic friends and uh, yeah, you know. I don't know. Um, summer happened. That was a thing. God, this year was just really fucking dog shit, dude. I I'm just gonna say it. I'm gonna get demonetized for that. You know, my fucking 26 subscribers are gonna be like, oh my gosh, dude, can you even say that? And no, I can't say that. But I said it anyway. This was just a dog shit year, dude. Like, nothing about it was really good. Like, I mean... The highlights from this year, like, you know, the, the the quarantine highlights from this year are everybody being super jazzed about being in quarantine and just, like, I, I remember I talked to, like, four or five co-workers today that, like, uh, um, where I was working at the time got shut down, and, like, everyone was just jazzed about it. Everyone was like, fuck yeah, dude. I get to sit around all day in my underwear and play video games? Sign me up. The government's gonna take care of me? Sign me up. <laughs> oh my gosh, you think that they're still like that? You think they're still like, oh yeah, sign me up, yeah, dude, yeah, dude. Nah, man, those people are like hella depressed now. There, there, there's, there's no way around it. Even if you were like super introverted, there's no way that this hasn't taken that toll on you at all. Like, like that, that's just not happening. Um. Let's see. I can't think. The NBA bubble happened. Um, I remember there was a will they, won't they on like NBA Twitter for a while of like, um, you know, LeBron was kind of against it. He's like, shit, I'm not going to go back unless there's fans. There's no point unless there's fans. And then like everyone else was like, yeah, I'm with LeBron on that. Look, I'm not going back unless there's fans. I'm not going to go back unless it's safe. Remember St Spencer Dinwiddie and, like, a couple other, like, players on the Nets, like Kyrie Irving and whatnot, were all like, yeah, I'm not going to go back and play. It's a pandemic. And then they were all, like, practicing together, not social distancing, while the bubble was happening. Anyway, uh, NBA bubble, I think, was a great thing. Um, it really brought a lot of joy in my life for the however many weeks it was happening. Like, uh, I just remember I was so jazzed that like there were just, there were just so many, every single day there was like a triple header in the NBA and like you turn on the TV at like noon and like the Grizzlies and Raptors are playing or, or some shit. Like it was just fucking, it was great. It was, it was, it was great. Like, um, fucking... Let's talk about TJ Warren real fast. Fucking bubble MVP dropping like 50 in like his first game in the bubble or something. Uh, the Phoenix Suns, the fucking A no bubble Phoenix Suns didn't even have a chance at the play in tournament. Uh, Trailblazers, Damian Lillard just fucking going off, calling Dame like fucking however many times until it got eliminated by the Lakers. The Lakers winning the NBA championship. For Kobe and Jeej, you know, that was, that was a great moment. I'm not even from L.A., but, you know, 
fucking LeBron doing his thing, whatever. I don't know. Oh, God, I almost completely forgot. I was talking about, like, the Lakers, uh, the Clippers choking. Oh, my gosh. Pandemic P. How about that boy? Gosh. And uh, Kawhi doesn't get a pass either. Kawhi, like, looks like shit in the like in game seven uh luca's crazy ass game winner in like game five i think it was that was insane like and doing the bottle flip or whatever like right before his game winner <laughs> crazy ass step back oh my gosh man that dude looked like i don't even know that man was like <laughs> Gosh, he did like 15 juke moves, man. It looked like a fucking like 12 year old playing 2K. It was great. Oh, what other highlights came from the bubble? Oh, James Harden, defensive highlight of the year. How it snubbed on the defensive team, snubbed on the all, or I don't know, just snubbed like from any defensive player of the year vote. Come on, man. Like that block in game, what was it? whatever game six game seven i don't even fucking remember how many games it was in round one you know against the thunder the crazy block and then like the the freaking like the matrix jumped up to like not have the ball hit him as it's going out of bounds great play god chris paul looked really solid you know like thunder really surprised me Yeah, uh, oh yeah, you know, Jimmy Butler went off in the bubble too, he fucking played his heart out, Tyler Hero, like, got a little bit of cred too. There were, like, no other Eastern Conference teams that, like, looked remotely good though, like, uh, Pascal got exposed, the Nets had nobody, the Magic looked good for a game, Giannis looked bad throughout the entire postseason, he got exposed like a little bitch. Oh, the Celtics look good, but, you know, whatever. I'm a huge, like, Jalen Brown stan, so whatever. Yeah, NBA bubble, that's just about it. That was, like, a, that, that was a good time. That was a good time. I've been uh, talking a lot about the NBA and whatnot. I just spent, like, five minutes talking about the NBA and whatnot. Uh, let's talk about the MLB and NFL. Um, a lot of, uh, a lot of corona cases... They did not have a bubble. They were still traveling, still having fans in attendance and whatnot. And I just don't care about, like, either one of those seasons. Like, who won the championship in the MLB this year? Like, the fucking Dodgers? Like, ooh, good for you, Kershaw. You got, like, fucking, like, I don't know. Fuck, fuck Kershaw, man. Uh, NFL. My team sucks. We don't have our pick. Garbage year. Traded D-Hop. Oh my gosh, that was a thing. Oh my gosh, backtrack. Backtrack to fucking March. Yeah, you remember uh, when the Texans traded DeAndre Hopkins and we swapped like second round picks? Or no, we swapped a sixth and we got a second round pick and David Johnson for DeAndre Hopkins. And then like a day later, Stefan Diggs was traded for like a shitload of picks to the Bills. I remember that. I remember that very, 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 I remember that very well. That was shitty. That was shitty. And then that dude, the dude who made that trade still kept his job for like months and then was fired like halfway through this season when this season doesn't even fucking matter anymore. Gosh. Gosh. What else? Uh, sports. Uh, yeah, sports segment's over now. I guess we can go back to, like, the rest of the world. Um, Halloween happened. That came and went. November happened. My sister got married. That came and went. Um, we're in December now, or I mean, it's New Year's Eve, the day that I'm making this. I don't know if it's going to go out on New Year's Eve or not. We'll just fucking see. That came and went. Christmas kind of came and went. Thanksgiving came and went. Blah, blah. Um, 
Yeah, I guess now we can just like talk about all the video ideas that I was going to make but didn't make, you know, out of like either like whatever reasons. Uh, I've had an old console nostalgia script like written for like months now that I just haven't made. Uh, it was originally going to be about Tony Hawk Pro Skater 4 and then I changed it into a video about Resident Evil remake on GameCube and Tony Hawk Pro Skater 4 and then it was just going to be a video about the GameCube in general and like good games on it. Uh, and then it was going to be a video about all old consoles and like is like the nostalgia like really worth it? Should you keep the roast and goggles on or should you just get like emulators and save the money on buying outdated hardware for like buying a good GPU for like a PC or something? I guess that's still in the works, I just haven't made it. Uh, I was going to make a Things I Hate video for Thanksgiving, but that didn't happen. Um... I don't know, I had some other videos. I had a couple mukbang ideas that just didn't really happen. Uh, it, 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 like, it seemed like a theme with like videos in the last couple of months for like any time I'm like, yeah, I have a really good idea. I'm just going to make a real quick like meme or some shit. Uh, my phone was either dead or like I was out and about and busy and I just, or like I would like go to turn on the camera or turn on my mic or something. And then all my funny juice is just gone. I don't know. I'm not really funny anyway, but you get what I'm saying. Uh... Uh, we got election results. I was gonna like talk about Joe Biden being president and whatnot, but I didn't want to make a third political video. I was gonna make a video about Mitch McConnell, but I didn't want to make another video or another political video. Uh, but I guess I mean this isn't really a political video anymore. I'm just kind of like recapping the year, so I'm just I'm just gonna shit talk at them now because like it's the end of the video, I guess. I've already like talked about the entire year and whatnot. Talked about all the highs and lows, the trials and tribulations of high school football. You know the vibes. Uh, so yeah, Mitch McConnell's a fucking dipshit, dude. Um, the U.S. government's a scam. Why can't we get two thousand dollars, dude? Like, why can't I get two thousand dollars? Give me fucking two thousand dollars. You gave me twelve hundred dollars like months ago. A lot of people are just now getting that twelve hundred dollars because it took them months to get that twelve hundred dollars. You know, yeah, you know, some people were on unemployment or whatever. Some people got those benefits. I signed up for unemployment, like, after uh, the place I was working got shut down back in March. And I was supposed to receive my benefits uh, via direct deposit because that's how I did my tax return. And then I did not see any money. I tried calling, you know, the, the whatever workforce place or whatever. And I just got busy signal, busy signal, busy signal. I'm calling, you know, during the, 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 the specified time that I'm supposed to call, I get nobody i get an automated voice system i have to email like some like support thing and still get nothing yeah so, so that was a thing um you know and then they're like then they're then they're trying to give us six hundred dollars now six hundred what the fuck am i gonna do with six hundred dollars the fuck is anybody gonna do with six hundred dollars god meanwhile like foreign countries you know outside of the u.s are like getting like Big ass fucking like donations from the US of A. Fuck off with that. S you're fucking citing national debt and a national deficit. It doesn't fucking matter. It's all just fake. Money is fake. None of it is fucking real. God. You could give us the money if you wanted to. It wouldn't matter. It really wouldn't matter. Like, ooh, a couple more million in debt. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Just blame it on fucking Joe Biden like you're going to fucking Mitch McConnell. Fuck you. Fuck you. God. <sighs> it's like, you know that shit's really bad when Bernie Sanders, Nancy Pelosi, and Trump are all agreeing on the same topic. That Americans need more money because we're in the shitter right now, dude. Like, gosh. National morale is at, like, an all-time low. Like, fuck, dude. <laughs> Just let us have one fucking win. Gosh, man, just like, oh, fuck you, fuck you, man. God, all little wax turtle looking dude, all fucking burnt looking like. 
We can't give them more money because we go national debt. I'm probably gonna cut that out. Like that that's a little mean, making fun of the way that somebody looks. I shouldn't do that. That's that's gonna be bad dharma, you know. I feel like everyone on TikTok this year really got into like manifesting and like really got into astrology or some shit. Cause I remember like a year ago, like nobody was like doing any of this shit. And here I am now. And like everybody is super like in touch with what their sun sign is and their moon sign and their mercury sign and manifesting. Yeah, that's a thing. Uh, yeah. Did I miss any topics? Uh, my dog got really bad diarrhea after Christmas, and he still kind of has, like, pretty bad diarrhea. He shit on the floor, like, three times in a day, and then, like, two times a day before that or some shit like that. <sighs> Man's just a bona fide scrub, dude. Like, how, how the fuck are you gonna do that? Um, oh, uh, yeah, real quick, I did miss a couple of topics. Uh, so I was thinking about, like, how I'm about to go to, like, work or whatever. I'm just, like, trying to, like, grind this video out or real, real fast. I was just thinking... Uh, and I was gonna like talk about like, you know, do like a quick outro about like, oh yeah, a new video is coming soon, you know, about to move into a new apartment, so it'll be a little more peaceful, it'll be more kawaii and whatnot. Nah, nah, you know, that just reminded me though, gosh man, like the world is really just fucking set against you when you're young, you know, like, you can be young and have a pretty decent income and like, not have any debt and have a good credit score and it doesn't fucking matter, it doesn't fucking matter. Because, you know, like, like these fuckheads, oh my god, these fuckheads will, like, find any reason to, like, not, like, lease something to you, or not finance something to you, or if they're going to finance something to you, it's going to be at a fucking shitty rate, and what, what is the point of that? What is the point of this? Credit is a fucking scam. America is a fucking scam. Money's just a fucking scam. Gosh, man. Gosh. That's it. Um, uh, that's my video. Uh, 2020 recap uh, just, just to do a quick recap uh, New Year's happened my cousin's birthday happened my grandma's birthday happened Kobe died Valentine's happened the world shut down Animal Crossing happened the NBA bubble happened the world still shut down we have a new president Mitch McConnell's an ass wipe. Yeah. I think I hit all the... I think I uh, ticked all the boxes there. Yeah, uh, come back soon. Uh, the name's Poopy and uh, Eat Shit. Hey, I did miss uh, something like really big from 2020 and that were all of the protests, the BLM protests in response to justice not being done for Breonna Taylor, Ahmaud Arbery, George Floyd, and countless others, uh, not just in the United States, but all over the world, as injustices have been going on for black people in POC for far too long. Police brutality has been an issue for far too long in this country and all over the world. And it's just, it's wrong. I believe these protests started back in July, I wanna say, and they're still going on to this day, even if they're not being documented as much as they once were. It's a problem. And, uh, I don't know, it's kind of bad that, like, I kind of forgot it uh, in my silly video, but I did want to address it now, because that was a very big focal point of 2020, and it's something that, you know, needs to be addressed, and needs to be just, you know, talked about, because, I don't know, police brutality is a fucking, I don't know, it's a, it's a big problem, not just police brutality, but just, like, I know, wrongdoings and injustice to just black people, you know? It's not right. All people matter. Black lives matter. Just fucking treat people with kindness, man. Uh, that's it, though. Um, eat shit. And uh, justice for Breonna Taylor.